KFC restaurant opened today in the St. Louis area, and the first 50 customers received free chicken for a year cards. Fox 2's Mike Colombo explains why this opening is about more than just free food. On a cold, rainy Tuesday, customers are lined up for a hot deal on a hot meal at the grand opening of the new Kentucky Fried Chicken on Jennings Station Road. The first 50 people's got free chicken for a year. And you're one of them. And, I, and I'm one of them. William Washington was customer number 26 of 50 to receive a free chicken for a year card. She put me on game about this and I'm here for my family. Wenda Washington and her sister Shanae Kyles braved the elements to secure their shot at a year's worth of free KFC. It wasn't bad, you know, because you talk to the people, communicate, fellowship, so it was great. For Jennings Mayor Yolanda Austin, the restaurant's grand opening marks the end of a lot of planning and the beginning of what she hopes is something special for her community. It's awesome, exciting. We've been working on this project for about a year and just to see it all come together, for the community, we have young people that we provided jobs with, and just, it's just amazing. Store manager Whitney Vaughn says she's proud to help lead KPB Brand's 15th KFC restaurant in the greater St. Louis area. It's been so overwhelming, like I'm just filled with joy. It's like my mind has been going all over the place. It's like I'm just so filled with joy right now. I'm just, I just thank God to be able to be the person, the face of the company. I got a four piece eating. If this all seems like a small drop in the proverbial bucket of chicken, the fortunate 50 to walk away with these cards say otherwise. They consider it more than just a finger licking good way to boost business. It means a lot to my family. It's going to really help my children. It's going to help me help my pockets. So I'm excited. The restaurant is hiring. For more information on how to apply, search for this story on Fox2Now.com. I'm Mike Colombo, Fox2 News.